Hello there, this is Ismaus and today we're going to learn about lighting in Blender. So I have this scene and I have this mesh with this hole and uh, I have a sunlight and it's casting light onto this and then uh, this is casting a shadow. So if you're using EV, you can see that uh, we are running into a few issues. The first issue is that this shadow is for this object but it doesn't contact there is a gap between uh, this object and this and its shadow but in the real world you wouldn't see this uh, this shadow is supposed to start directly from this object let's see how we can fix that first thing you can do is select the light go to to the shadows and turn on contact shadows now you can see that uh, we have this other shadow that is coming up but we still have that gap now to bridge this part of the shadow with this part of the shadow, you just increase the distance until you see that uh, they, that is fixed. But we also see a slight issue here. If I reduce the distance here, you can see the shadow doesn't align directly with this shadow. The contact shadow does, has doesn't really connect with this straight or it doesn't align with it correctly remember we're using EV but if you're using cycles this shouldn't be an issue so if I switch to cycles everything works perfectly and you can see the shadow in cycles is aligning correctly there isn't any gaps or anything but in, in EV we have that issue to fix that, again, you can select the light, go to the light properties, and play around with the thickness. And you can see you can reduce the size, but don't overdo it because now you introduce back the issue we had before. Let's see. Now that's one way to fix it. Another thing that we want to have is we want to have harsh shadows because this is the outside and uh, by the angle of this sun we can see that uh, the, the sun is a bit overhead and uh, we should be experiencing harsh shadows for this scene. Now to bring in harsh shadows uh, if you want to have these shadows really sharp as what we're seeing in cycles maybe they're not that sharp but uh, if you wanted to have sharp shadows you just select the light go to the light settings and play around with the angle. A, a smaller angle just gives you harsh shadows like that that are more crisp. Then a larger angle just makes other shadow look softer. Now to increase the fidelity or the quality or resolution of your shadows you can go to the render settings and under shadows you can play with the cascade size. Right now it is at 1024. If I increase it to 24 to 8, you can see the quality of the shadow changes. Now we don't see it, we don't see the quality as we should see it because the quality is also influenced by the samples, the render samples of your engine. Right now we have a high cascade size that should give us a higher resolution image, a higher resolution shadow, but because our render sample is still low. Uh, we're not getting that uh, high resolution so you need to increase this as well let's try 128 and then that should improve uh, the quality of our shadows but also doing that will also increase the render times so you need to uh, find a balance between render times and uh, the quality you're going for so again to recap the, uh, the distance the distance of your contact shadows will help you reduce the gap between the shadows and the surface and then cascade size will increase the resolution of your shadow but that works in hand with the resolution with your samples uh, that you're using for rendering uh, this is viewport samples what we're seeing here but if you want to, to render you make sure that uh, you also match or increase uh, the render samples to be higher than the viewport to get better quality. 
Another thing to note is that this cascade size only works for the sun. If we switch this to an area light or any other light, let's increase this power, you can see in no way that changing the cascade size affect the resolution of the shadow. To change the resolution of the shadow, if you're using a different light, you need to change uh, the cube size. Right now it's at 412, but if we change it to 4K, you can see now it's more crisp. We don't see it too well uh, because the size of our triangle is producing these harsh shadows. Sorry, the size of our area light. If you want softer shadows, let me change to square so that I only worry about one value here. If you want softer shadows, you would increase uh, the size of your light. Just make sure that they don't overpower this. Then we can play around with the resolution. Lower values give you uh, a less resolution shadow map. Higher values give you higher resolutions. Again, at the cost of render time. And see. In the same way, the distance will help you uh, get rid of uh, any gaps uh, that you have between the shadow and the surface. If I turn off contact shadows, you see that uh, we get that gap. If we turn it on, if I play around with this, we get that. That's it for now. In the next tutorial, we'll look at something different. But uh, for now, I just wanted to show you how you can use this to make cool scenes, especially scenes that involve sunbeams or gold rays. Just, if I turn this into an actual room, actually maybe I don't even have to do this. Extrude it, scale this up, and the turn on volumetric lighting. You can make some interesting scenes. Can see are the god rays. If we increase the power of this, we start to see that. what I mean. You just play with this with the resolution of the shadows and get, to get a better resolution and also play with uh, the size the angle size to get that crisp shadow. And there we are. Yeah, so I'm creating a course, a paid course uh, that will be available on Udemy and uh, maybe available to my patrons. Uh, yeah, so if you want to learn more about Blender, uh, you can subscribe and uh, get updates for when that course will be available. I'll also make sure to have it available to my YouTube members, um, exploring uh, the option of having a uh, YouTube membership. Uh, this is just paid subscriptions on uh, YouTube uh, that can have exclusive content. Uh, on YouTube. I'm also exploring that so if you are interested in that subscribe and uh, I'll update you whenever I'm able to. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.